Okay, I'm with Ashley Glenn at the Willie Mill Brown Center at the Missouri Botanical Gardens. Uh, <laughs> Ashley, you're doing some great work. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing. I'm currently managing the Sacred Seeds program. Mm -hmm. It's a network of botanical gardens focusing on culturally important and medicinal plants and the traditional knowledge about those plants. So that's like plants you take for medicine that local people would take or? Medicine, ritual plants, yeah. uh, food crops, anything that culture finds important. Right, and so the, this is a program designed to preserve all that. So you're, you're taking them and you're regrowing them in the local areas, is yes. that right? The idea is preserving by using. So okay. each sacred seed garden is a preserve for culturally important plants, but it's also a venue for exercise those traditions and teaching about traditional uses and oh. conservation. So now we're at Costa Rica right now of course, a very rainy Costa Rica I might add, but this happens all over the world right, not just here. Yes, um, we're currently in seven countries and growing rapidly. Ashley, we were having breakfast this morning. We're at uh, Luna Nueva, just outside of La Fortuna, a wonderful resort which has a sacred garden in it, one of the largest, if not the largest in the world, right? It's the largest medicinal garden in the neotropics, in the whole new world. Really? So what makes this place unique? There's over 300 plants in the Sacred Seeds Garden. Not only local plants, but any tropical plants they've transported here as yeah. a preserve for all medicinal plants. Right. Now some of the plants we've got, one of the ones in particular that caught my attention it is the warrior vine. Yes, we work in uh, remote areas of Peru. A valley in particular takes about a week by mule to travel to. And we found this vine that was previously undiscovered by scientists, but the people who live in that valley have been using it for thousands of years. This is really high in omega oils, which are, I guess are really healthy for you, a right? Great energy and, source. Yeah, yeah, and a good energy source as well. And uh, the warriors would carry it around uh, to give them lots of strength and fight those battles in Peru. Is that right? Yes. All right. Well, Ashley, thank you very much. Thank you. From Luena Nueva, this is Percy Von Lipinski here for CNN.